Now let me show you how to install DIY Spider. This is an accessory box. You can take a look at what's inside. Components. Firstly, the outer shell of the robot. This is a new shell. Look, how cool the shell is. These are foot protectors. This is the gearbox. When in a fixed state, the fastener we use is this one. This is the accessory box. Let's take a look at the accessories group. Let's see what other accessories are there in total. Firstly, there is a battery. Then there is a motherboard. Charging cable. It charges the spiders. Two to two splicing lines. An antenna. There is also a switch component. Switch assembly circuit board. It includes a charging port and a switch. Okay, this is the content section. And then there's board part. And... That includes legs and gearbox, four boards in total, and then this gear set. Two leg components. Now let's demonstrate how to remove the parts from the plate. It's actually quite simple. You can use your nails directly. Just use your hands to straighten it out, or you can use some scissors, tools for nail clippers or pliers. It can also be cut off from this component board. Just remove it this way. The first thing we need to assemble is the body. Body part. This is the main part of the entire robot. First of all, we need to install this chassis. The first step is to install this antenna. Stick to the chassis. There is this double-sided adhesive tape on the back of the stitching. We can take off this adhesive backing. Then it can be attached to this base chassis. Now I will show everyone a finished part that has already been pasted. Just stick it in this position. Please note that the front and back are pasted in this position. Bring the glue down. Just stick it on. After pasting, what we need to install next. Just install this gearbox on this base. We all need to pay attention to the right direction. This motor is aimed at this end of the tip. Okay, then the second step. We need to put this battery in this slot. Note this thread end facing upwards. Place the battery directly in this battery holder. The battery cable is pointing towards the pointed end. Next, we need to install this motherboard. We can see on this motherboard, each of this port correspond to a certain cable. This is the motor seat. And here is the switch base. Battery port. So let's connect these corresponding places. Just connect the corresponding cable to it. This is the battery cable. We will insert the battery cable into the battery port. And then next, it's a motor cable. So we'll plug it into the motor base. Next, we need to install switchboard. Make this switch. Connect the two cables first. These two wires can be easily connected. Pay attention to this charging port. It's down there. Just use this slot like this. Get stuck.
This is how it is installed in place. Okay, after installing this, we can check cables here. For example, turning this cable like this. Once fixed, take this, stuck in, clamp this wire. The cobazine is now installed in place. Next, we can see that there are corresponding ports. This is the switch base. Wire for switch base. Let's first install the space. Be sure to lead this line out. There are four here. For fixing holes, it just fits in. Okay, this is the switch cable connected to the cable to this switch base. Finally, this is the charging wire. Connected up here. Note that this wire must not be inserted incorrectly. Be sure not to insert it incorrectly. After everything is installed, there are two fixing holes here. We will install the motherboard. Press onto this fixing hole. Just press it slightly to secure it. Finally, place the antenna. The antenna is connected here. We can adjust the antenna. Press down on the side of the motherboard with one hand. Press down. Pay attention to the antenna. The position must be oblique. Like this. Don't do this, everyone. This is not feasible because it will interfere with the upper shell later. So the antenna, the direction of the cable must be tilted like this. Okay, we have already assembled the core part. Next, we will install gearboxes and legs. The installation method for the two pairs is completely same. So I will only show installation method of one pair. And then these are all required components, including two gearboxes components, two large gears and one small gear. Gear holder, four legs, four of these oval shaped legs and four long rods. And then four of these adapter components and four long fixing sleeves and four short fixing sleeves. Now let's start assembling. The first thing to assemble is this gearbox. To use gear holders to hold gears, just use the hole here. Cover it on both sides, right? Hold both large gears first, and then put small gear in the middle. Be careful when installing. Make convex side, facing yourself. That's it. We install the gear on the protruding side. Look, the convex side is installed here. Then fasten the other one. Compress. That's it. And then we started installing one of the legs. Pay attention to this leg. We have four pairs of legs. Right. Other two pairs are installed in reverse like this. I'll install one pair first. You can see that there are two holes here. You can randomly select these two holes. If it's placed on top, this spider can crawl like this. The stride of this leg will make bigger movement. If we choose smaller hole, its leg pace is a bit smaller. We use this long rod component to cover it. Using this, the first one of rod to put on it. I chose to make its pace a bit larger here. Good. And then this, we will buckle the casing component here. Okay, so in this direction, we need to install two. Install another set. Attention everyone, once you choose this hole, it is mounted on it. So all the other legs need to be chosen in same for larger pace. Same direction, the same one, one of the components, hole position. Good, another pair. For two other pairs, we need to reverse it. The assembly method is also the same. This elliptical component, we shall use leg components to buckle underneath. Position here, like this one, it's also elliptical below. Use legs to buckle. And then this hole is also installed on top here. Okay. This is a pair completed leg. 
And then there's another pair. Make sure all down here, like this, the components of these levers, all on the underside of this leg. Okay, let me show you these two pairs. They are symmetrical, and then take this pair of leg, fixed to our gearbox component, the gear in the middle. It is, the middle one, the fixed sight is on a straight line, don't be such a mess. And then buckle this first one on top of it, blessing, and then take this short end, buckle it on the hole below, look. Good, and then take a long one, long fixed shaft. Place this side of the lever on this gear, above this hole, then take a short one, the lever is attached to this, the hole outside the gearbox. Okay, and the same goes for the other side. Attention everyone, that's it, that's all you've chosen. If the first one you installed is this outer hole, the other leg is symmetrical. This leg also needs to be installed in the outer hole. You can't put it here, it must be on the outside. Otherwise, riders can also run, but when it runs it looks awkward. Now install the other side. Since its external hole has already been used, so this time we install at inner hole. Installing inner gear. After installation, this leg should be in this symmetrical state. One side is inward facing, one side is externally stretched. We can rotate this, see if this leg can move freely. If we find that this leg cannot move freely, that must be mostly the leg was installed incorrectly. For example, this, two levers that are not pressed under the legs, up and down. Perhaps this is the case. Okay, let's install another leg. Okay. Now all legs are installed, so now let's finish the final step. It's actually quite simple. We will connect like this. This is the rod. Lean against this gear hole in the middle. It's fixed. Then install the other legs on the other side. Be careful at this time. Our legs on both sides are all symmetrical. It must be symmetrical. You can't turn around like this. Okay, after fixing it this way, take this stuck on this finally we can test it first turn on this power switch check if this led light is on or not if it turns on it should be okay there is no problem with this circuit if it doesn't light up you may have plugged in the wrong cable at wrong position i emphasize once again that it cannot be inserted incorrectly otherwise it would be damaged now, we can turn off the switch first, and finally, put this shell. Buckle it on top. That's it. For this rubber tube, we can use scissors to cut it into eight parts, and then use rubber sleeve. Hold the tip of the spider's foot. So this one is anti-slip, like the floor of your home. It is relatively slippery. Then you can use this rubber sleeve to cover the spider's feet, so it doesn't slip easily when it runs. Or perhaps you control the spider to climb some slopes. This rubber foot protector, it can increase its friction force. How does it match our brainwave headband? Let's first turn on the spider switch. You can see that the LED lights inside are flashing. Next, let's turn on brain link. Make sure it is blue flashing state. When you hear two beeps, it's sun. Let's wait a little bit. Wait until this LED light above here turns to this blue, blue flashing state. When this motherboard displays this blue light, it represents the spider and brain link is already paired. At this point, all we need to do is wear a headband. It can run now. When your focus level reaching a certain standard, this spider will move.